Hey, hello, it's Fred Falk, and I'm here in San Francisco talking with DJ Tech Tools. So, um, today I I'm going to show you uh, the basics of my uh, live setup. I'm using Ableton and I'm using like pre recorded audio and also uh, including some uh, live bass. So, I'm going to show you very simply how it's made. Uh, basically, I'm using Ableton compressor built in one. Uh, it's really cool. It's like, it does the job and using the built in plugins, you know, it's just working fine, which is so important in live. I think when you're using a, a software, a DAW, no matter what it is in live, you want things to go very uh, flawlessly with absolutely zero, zero danger for, uh, you know, CPU overload or whatever. So I'm playing uh, my tracks live. It's remix I've done or originals or edits of tracks. So I always have access to the stems. Each, uh, each track, as you can see on the, on the screen here, like for example, the four tracks, yeah, we have the four channel, are stems. I don't have any precise uh, combination, like uh, channel one is drums or channel two. It's just uh, whatever. So for example, uh, this track 808, this is the guitar part. So let's say I want to start with this and then I want to include like the, the wave sound to it. So I'm going to launch this clip, which is just the guitar by itself. And then I can launch the clip with the, the wave um, sound. And then I can bring in some uh, the Fender Rhodes. It's like all the stems from the original track. Huh? So on some of these, uh, of these um, clips, actually, some, like this one, they don't have any uh, follow action, which in Ableton is amazing, the follow action, because Basically, you can tell the software, the clip, what you want to do next. So, on this one, there is no follow action, but you can see on the rods, for example, there is a follow action button, means every time I, I will play that clip here, the clip will play for 16 bar and then move to the next clip, which allow me, if I want to pick up the bass straight on, I can because I know the rods will play. It's like having a, having a keyboard player. I know the guy is going to play the score. But if I want, I can, uh, of course, if I don't know, uh, I want to bring some more... Uh, I don't want to bring the bass and just play the stuff, but I can just, yeah, repeat it again and again. I can make a loop even shorter. And uh, I'm very adventurous, and sometimes what I do here, I just change the loop size in live, because one thing that's amazing about Ableton is, like, it's so stable as a software, because I never had any issue that you can change loops and make everything while the software is running. And I think that's, that's the beauty of it. It's like uh, using it just as decks, it's, uh, it's a shame because you can do so many things with it like, uh, and be crazy. And uh, I think that's what life is about, is being crazy. Sometimes the loop is not perfect and you have to correct it, but you know, that's the, that's the live stuff. Again, so I could use like the beat from the, uh, from the original uh, track. Okay, but I have, normally what I do live is like I will bring different beats, like uh, so here I have, I have put some loops I can use, like uh, for example the drum track loop here, because that's the interest, an interesting stuff is like I can play live the, the whole track, but my, my uh, feelings were, okay, what's the difference between me playing all these stems live and me playing just the record? You know, so when you go see a band playing live, the drummer is not going to hit the drums the same way he did on the record and you won't have the same sound and it will sound a bit different. And I think that what makes live uh, performance so interesting. Uh, so I was like, oh, how can I do this uh, with the computer? So this is how I do it. It's like instead of using the drums for the original track, which I may do sometimes, or combine those with different drums or uh, different parts and bring something new and uh, sometimes uh, I, I play things once and I'm like oh yeah I can try this and on the go I, I drag a clip from my browser uh, it can be a vocal it can be a synth a drum and I just play it and uh, I'm like yeah it's so great and after maybe the next show I'm like oh I knew this was working so good so I bring this thing into the session ready when it's simple I know the software will uh, be uh, perfect and me it's, I'm like, yeah, I can do this, this, and it, I have fun. And if I have fun, people enjoy, and it's a, it's a great combo. 
So I, I don't want to be stressed, you know, and be like, uh, and, and also I don't want to look like, uh, you know, too much thinking. People, they don't want to come and see someone thinking in front of this computer, you know. Being a producer is about being confident. Know your limits. And it's good to know, sometimes you have to team up with people in order to make great track or a great performance. I think it's very important uh, not to have a too big ego and, uh, and know, exactly, know your limit and work as a team. Build a crew around you, a team, and uh, that's the only way to move forward and move up. Au revoir. Merci.